I'm going to show you again um, how I do my roses. I have another video on YouTube showing you how I do it, but I didn't give you any verbal step-by-step -step as I did it. Right now I am double loading a number 10 flat brush and I'm getting it really full of paint and then I'll just start doing the top petals of the rose and I kind of wiggle it in there come down to a point and I'll reload so I have plenty of paint and then I'll do the same just kind of wiggle lift the brush and come down to a point and um, then I'll do the second layer second of the bowl top of the bowl and I'm not liking how it doesn't have a lot of white over here to show so I'll just go back over it with more white and then I go down the other side and come to a point a little tail there we'll come back and take care of those I'm gonna leave this bowl wide you can add another layer and have it be narrow but this one is going to be a wider bowl now I'm going to go and do this some of the side petals while that dries I wiggle, it's kind of a wiggled scallop U or C or backward C I guess would be better. And then I'd go and do the other side. I didn't quite get out wide enough. And then I do the bottom scallop petals along here. You'll notice I had pounced in some white over the darker colors because the white um, will not always be opaque. And I don't like how I got too much gloppy paint there, so I could just take it off with my finger and restroke that. Make sure I don't have too much paint on my brush. Okay, I eh, still did it, but it'll lay down another. So this is like the bottom row of petals, kind of laying outward. Now I come in and I will do my bowl. Now some I just do across that way. Now the next one I'll do a little bit different stroke. Here I'm going to catch this one and I go down. You notice I go down so it looks like it's kind of folding and then this one will come and kind of go over it so it looks like two petals overlapping. Now I'll do the second set of petals along here. Another layer and then another down here. This is an older brush, so it's losing its chisel edge. That's why I'm getting the gloppy paint. But Now, here's a tricky type of stroke to kind of put in the middle to bring it out. You start on the chisel edge between these two. Press down, flip, and bring up. So it kind of makes it holding it up there. I don't know what you'd call it, but and then you just add a few scallops here and there. And there's one of the roses. Alright, I'm going to start the second one and this time I'm going to keep the palette out of the camera. So I'll set it down. I'm going to do this one with a number 12 flat brush. And I'm loading it up. Nice lot of paint. And then I'll do the same. I just start kind of working in the top petal or row and get the bowl nice and wide. Pull that down. Do the second layer. And this one I think I'll have a narrower center, so I'll do a little third one, tap in the pink of that center, and I do the outside petals, and lay them in. And I'll do this, some of the bottom ones, like in Oh, don't like the way that one turned out. Whoops. Too much paint. Oh 
replaced him in leaving. I'm reloading, working the brush in to some more paint. Now I'm going to do this bowl here. Now I'm not going to do the very center, come across, I'm going to leave that one alone and come across, kind of wiggle up and down and then bring it to match that other side so it's not just straight across but has a little bit more frilly form. And then this one I just bring it down and across, bring it down and across. Then I add some more to the sides. And you'll notice my strokes are always end up in the same place on each rows, so it just makes each one look a little bit different. I'll do this. And I don't always do this, what I call the tricky stroke, but I'll show it to you again. So you kind of go flat edge, drag, flip. And bring it up to a point. And that's pretty much it. Put in a few more strokes for some faux petals. And there you have our second rose. Now we'll do our third and last rose. I went back to a number 10 because this rose is a little bit smaller than this one. These two are just slightly smaller. So number 10 will help me get keep it smaller to look right. Okay, let's go ahead and do the top petal down to point. My pink isn't flowing very well. It must be getting dry on my palette. So let's do that again. We'll do the center uh, section. Some bottom petals. Bring in some side petals. I'm going to do this at an odd angle so you can see, but... So, I, I'll keep this one a wide bowl too, so I'll just fill that center part with the pink. And I'll grab here and I'll just come along there. Stroke along. And I'll do that one. I'll do that one kind of similar to the other one where I make a folding petal. And I'll do another scallop comma there. Another scallop comma here. Do one down here. Now you don't always have to do that tricky petal in the middle. Sometimes you just come in and do some just some little strokes to add. And there you have your third rose.